And hey guys, it's me Omar. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back. Welcome. If you're new, be sure to hit that subscribe button because only a small percentile of you guys are actually subscribed. And while you're at it, hit that like and share the video with your friends and leave a comment down below. So today's video is a build video for none other than Miss Badass herself, Miss Daya. I love her. Design wise, I think she has a really good design. I love her personality. I love how they portray her in the different uh, trailers they have for her. I love that she helps orphans. Uh, I hate that she's mid in the game, but with that said, we're going to build her regardless. Not as non-field DPS, no, good heavens, no, but more so as a support character for my Emily and by extension, my Moalani. And you might see throughout this video, Moalani in the background, and that's because I'm building Moalani and Dea simultaneously. So I do, do apologize for that, for the inconsistency. Moalani's video will be going up after this video, so sorry about that. I need to get a good artifact set for her. And here is my uh, Dea currently. She is level 20 because I needed to get her uh, wish. But anyways, we're going to train her. Alrighty, so we're back. And luckily, we have already fought her boss battle off camera. So we just need to get her materials for leveling her up. And a decent artifact set and level up her weapon. Weapon-wise, I am leaning towards two weapons. Either this one or the other one being this one. Because it does give her some elemental skill damage when causing a pyro reaction and that can be utilized off field as well first let's go ahead and get the pieces for her got to love collecting the hoops collect them all also subscribe thanks mamma mia Alrighty, so we're here sitting in the beautiful land of sumeru the capital um nahida is somewhere up there in the tree we're enjoying the nice scenic day and we're about to level her up. We have all of her materials ready to go here. I did do the boss battle off camera and be thanks to the uh, guaranteed three drops, I kind of went a, a little overboard in what I needed, but that's good because uh, Candace also so happens to use the same boss drop and I do want to build Candace at some point. So with that said, let's go ahead and level her up. I do have limited purple books and blue books so we're only getting her to level 80 and then the rest will be used for Moalani and then not to start saving for Kenich. Anyways let's go. I will try to not skip any dialogue that may happen so I apologize in advance if I do. Bam shazam yes ma'am. Oh that's not an ascension that's just leveling her up. Okay now. Hey this feels good. I think I'll be able to hit quite a bit harder with my sword now. Lovely. We love a hard-hitting sword user. Next set, go up again. And then we're going to ascend her once more. No talking this time, that's fine. Level 60 and ascension once more. So much power. I have to go test this out. You down to spar with me or what? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Though promise me, Daya, you'll be gentle because I am brittle right now. I spent the last two days helping my family move and my body is sore. And I can't even lift my arms up without feeling a burning sensation. Level up again. Level 70. And now we're going to ascend. Okay, no talking. We're going to save these purple books now and use primarily just the blue books because I need 420 purple books to level a character from level 0 to 90 or level 1 to 90. So we're utilizing just the blue books. Is this dumb? Is this idiotic? Yeah, it probably is. And that's all the blue books I have. And we'll have to use some purple books. But that's okay because it's only 28. We can farm the rest back. And there we go. Level 80 character Dea. We also get our two um, Acquaint Fates. Little known fact, the Acquaint Fates you get from ascending your characters can actually guarantee you a 5 star from the standard banner. And I will prove it right here, right now. Look. Almost. Next pull is a guarantee. Actually, fun fact. One of these days, one of these damn days, I will get a guaranteed pull. And while I'm here, I'm also going to go ahead and buy two wishes, making our boss, making our count go up to 30. I am saving 
for Kenich right now, the second half banner. I also want Xylanin because she looks really cool, but that's for a different video. And I'm going to go ahead and work on her, get materials for her talents, and then level her talents up on camera, and then her artifacts and whatnot. So I will be right back, guys. Alrighty, guys, we're back, and we're in Dia's house here, the little bush outside of the craft store and alchemy store of Sumeru. We're stretching, making ourselves at home as we ascend her talents. Let's go ahead and get them up a bit. Uh, for starters, I will make all her talents go up from level 1 to 2 at the very least because I don't like seeing level 1 talents. But we are going to focus primarily on her skill and her burst, mainly on her skill because we do want to use her as an off-field pyro support character for the pyro applications for Mulani and Emily by extension and other characters that need, util need to utilize pyro application off-fielders. So let's go ahead and get the scale up first and foremost. Uh, and then we'll also get her uh, burst up a little if I do ever want to use her in the future as a, I don't know, a DPS type of character. Maybe one day, probably not. I do have limited resources though, so unfortunately that is something to keep an eye out on. Uh, we'll get her scale to level 6 first and foremost. Okay, there we go, level 6 scale. And we can get her scale up to level 7, because why the heck not? And that is all she wrote for skills. And honestly, that's perfectly fine. I don't really think I need a whole lot, a whole lot of stuff. I could definitely get this to level 7 as well at some point. Uh, maybe I will before the showcase of the, da the damage showcase. But this is our Dea currently at this point in time. Her stats are 31 to 144 with 131 ER. And her artifacts need to be worked on. And her HP is currently at 33,000. And with double high joy, it would be higher. So I will see you guys in a moment. And hey guys, it's me Omar. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back. We're back here with Dea build video. Here's our Dea level 80. Let's show you guys her stats. She has 1500 attack, 129 EM. And these are her details. 43.9 crit rate and 167.4 crit damage. Um, granted, she is an off-field pyro applicator support type character. So I don't really care too much for her crit ratio but it's decent-ish. Here are her artifacts. You can go ahead and pause to read because um, I'm going to click on through them. And individually, the pieces aren't bad. Like At an individual level, the pieces are fairly decent. And this is the weapon I'm going with for her. It is level 80 because of one issue and one reason alone. This damn thing. And also the lack of resin. So level 80 for now. I will level it up at some point. These are her talents. Level 2, 8, and 5, obviously her skill is the most important piece of her uh, playstyle for my teams. I will get this higher up at some point in the future because I think it would be really fun to do a plunge DPS pyro infused uh, Dea. Let's go ahead and do the showcase here in the Abyss. Alrighty, so there are two to three teams I kind of want to try her out on. So the first team is... The team with Milani. Milani's build video will be coming out next week. Keep in mind, guys, my Milani does not have the proper artifacts. She only has two built artifacts, and the rest of her artifacts are all level 0 or 4. So she won't be doing as much damage as she could be, so keep that in mind. But the first team I want to try out is the team with a Vaporizer, and I want to try Milani because I think she's a really fun character. So let's go ahead and put this team together. We'll do... Emily, Nahida, Dea for the constant burn aura and whatnot, and then Mulani. And second half, I'll just put the oldies. Alrighty, so elemental skill damage. I think this is great for both Dea and uh, em uh, Emily and Mulani for that matter. <clears throat> okay, let's go. This will brighten up the place. That's like, that's like 96k damage. Not bad at all. Uh, and also, Dea's doing a good, respectful amount of damage as well, surprisingly. Like, I am actually pretty excited, uh, surprised because my Dea, again, she isn't built to be that crazy good. 
But she's doing like, you know, 5k damage per, which isn't bad by any means. Ooh. Let's just go and attacking about 12k damage, like 12k peak damage. That's not bad for it. Like for my Dea, not bad. So she's doing about 12k damage per click. Pretty good. That's the first team you can see. We cleared the first half in decent timing. Not even that bad. Let's try the second team. Alrighty, so the second team is actually another quirky team that I just want to try out because I like Emily. So we're going to go ahead and do Emily, and it's a mono pyro team essentially, because there's three pyro characters. The new Emily, um, Day, I forgot her name for a second, Bennett, and then Zhengling. Zhengling should not have any um, issues in this team when it comes to energy, but knowing my luck, she still will. And again, the oldies. Alrighty, same skill here because all of them are skill reliant except for Shangling, who happens to be burst reliant. Let's go. Fresh and floral. Let's get it on. Teamwork is dream work. Uh -huh. hey, yeah. Boba, get them. And there we go. We're doing pretty good damage. Okay, there we go. Making quick work. Oh no, wrong wrong thing. Well, if we're attacking in here, oh well. About 10k damage, honestly, is not bad. Everybody stand back! Honestly, this team's not bad. This team's doing really good. That team was really good, and I'm pretty sure everyone stayed at relatively high health. That team really exceeded my expectations, and Dea really did pull in some work. Uh, roughly 10k per burst hit. Let's assume each one is a hit, a burst hit, crit hit. That would be like, what, 60k to 70k damage? That's not bad at all. There's one more team I want to try out, so let's go ahead and take a look at that team now. All right, so this next team I want to try out is actually another Emily team, or it's a Chloren team actually, but it does consist of Emily and Dea because again, you get them with the um, burst thingy, not the burst thingy, the burning aura, and then you get the occasional vaporize coming in through with um, Farina, and thanks to Farina's um, low hydro, I mean, you know, it's not low per se, but it is lower compared to... Uh, Yelon and Sing Cho. It should be okay. And we'll do this team comp. We'll see how it goes. I honestly don't know how it's going to go. I think we should probably use Farina at this. No, we'll keep Farina there. Let's see how this goes. I do have a C2 Farina, so collecting fanfare points isn't an issue for me. Okay, once more character elemental skill damage. Again, this team is skill reliant. This will brighten up the place. Let's go see how this goes. Honestly, this is not a bad team. And we'll go in with this. A good old way to cancel our ult with Dea is to jump. Okay, and there we go. Not a bad team as well. Honestly, not a bad team. 
There is one more team I do kind of want to try out. I don't know how it's going to work because my Dea doesn't have any investment in her normal attack. But I want to try it out anyways because I'm annoying like that. So we're going to go ahead and do once again Emily just for the burning sub DPS aura. We'll throw in Farina because we need all the help we can get on this team truly. Um, like I said, I think we're going to go first her, then her. And then we're going to go in with Farina. Or no, because in this team we do need Bennett. So Farina would not work. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, so we're going to do Bennett. Farina will not work, unfortunately. But it's fine. And there we go. That's the team right there. The oldies once more. Alrighty, so I don't know how this seems going to work. You may or may not even see this in the video. I, if it works bad, I'm going to just not put it in the video. But let's see how this goes. Well, it's not bad, but like... I do think if we had more... Yeah, I do think if we had some more, you know... Normal investment... It would be significantly better. I think that team comp could definitely have been more fun had my day have been properly invested when it comes to her normal attacks. I'll probably still keep it in the video just to show you guys that it is doable and you can definitely clear the abyss still in a good time with day of plunge DPS pyro infused Bennett style. So guys, those were the different team comps I had for the video. They can be used as purely off-field support or even an on-field DPS as you guys saw with that last team. Had she been properly invested, she could definitely have finished that uh, playthrough of the abyss significantly faster uh, let me know in the comments below what your go-to day comp is if you have day do you have her build would you ever build her um, did I make a mistake building her because pyro archon is coming out soon and I'm going to regret this dearly who knows let me know down below and as always I hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you guys are in the world and I will see you guys next time bye